next story is absolutely incredible about a man who shipped himself across the world. It's no joke. Australian Reg Spears made it alive in a wooden box from London all the way to Perth. 50 years ago, my father built a box and delivered it to Heathrow. Marked cash on delivery and sent to a fictitious address. It travelled 30,000 miles and 63 hours as air freight. A plan so outrageous you'd be forgiven for thinking it was fiction. I didn't have any money. I'm gonna, I want to go home. Simple as that. London, 1964, and half a world away from home, this Australian javelin champ was in desperate need to get back to his family. I worked at the airport for a while, and uh, I knew the specifications of these aircraft and the specifications of uh, cargo. So I went to my, my friend in, 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 that lives in Spain now, and he was a carpenter at the time, I said, let's build this bloody box. The content was human. A penniless Australian athlete smuggling himself home. Now this true story has been made. If you could um, imagine Jack Nicholson in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Steve Irwin from The Crocodile Hunter and you merged their two personalities, you've got somewhere close to Reg. So committed, he convinced his mate, fellow javelin champ, Johnny McSorley. I didn't want to do it. But then I got um, a personality and character that just wore me down. <laughs> he wanted it, he wanted the box, he would do it. You, you know, I, I know that he'd just jump in a cardboard box and go, he was committed. The journey lasted 63 hours via France and Singapore, but perhaps the worst stopover, India. This thing, bang, the bloody thing lands, <clears throat> and it's in Mumbai, and it's hot as hell. And they, uh, they take me off this plane and put me on the tarmac. And the box is ass in up. Uh, and I'm upside down, because with straps in this bloody box, I'm hanging <laughs> upside down a bit onto my shoulders. But so I've, I'm in the nude. I've taken all my bloody clothes off and I'm perspiring. Uh, Eventually, he made it to Perth safe and sound. The problem is, he forgot to mention anything to Johnny back in England. Johnny freaked out and the media found out. And then it blew up. It went, it went berserk. The headlines dominated front pages, but eventually the story died down. But Reg would once again come under the public microscope for all the wrong reasons. Sport drove me through all of this. Uh, and eventually I finished up <sighs> smuggling drugs. In fact, he ended up on death row. Then once again, a great escape. The Sri Lankan customs knocked off half a key of, of smack. I was home and host. Evidence tampered with continuity of evidence. Go home, Reggie. I have no regrets. Why would you? You only got one shot at it. And uh, you want to know, you want to let yourself know you're there. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't regret a moment.